Welcome back to the next video. So today I will show you how to do Google sign in with React Native's new architecture without any third party library using Turbo modules. So first you have to create a default React Native project which I have created. Next you have to enable new architecture for it. So you can just go to the documentation, uh, creating a new architecture app and for uh, Android you have to enable new arc enabled property. So just search for it new arc enabled in gradle dot properties new arc enabled equal to true and for ios you have to cd to your ios directory and run this command uh, so you might face an issue first issue is this so if you face something like this then cd again back to your root of react native project and just run this then cd back to ios and try running this if you again face an issue of something like this then you can check out a video on my channel explaining in detail on how to resolve this issue but you can also try something like this this might help you or you might want to try some other answers as well once you have successfully run this command just run yarn ios or yarn android and in the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true which means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native app next we will go to turbo native modules so before that i want to tell you no no we'll go to turbo native modules so i will close this i will close this next uh, we have to create a folder so here they have created the folder outside react native project but in our case we will create it inside react native project so go to your react native project and create rtn my google sign in as a folder inside that create three folders android ios and js folder inside js folder we have to create this file so i have named it native my google sign in dot ts again the naming is important it should be similar to that of your folder name and i have copied it from the documentation only thing that has been changed is the file name as well as the method name has been changed so i will create a separate i have created a method called sign in and in promise i'm just returning the user's email but here you can return whatever you want a user's email user's username uh, profile image token access token whatever you want so you can change it according to however you like so just for simplicity i have created it email but i will show you how to uh, retrieve all those properties next uh, we have to create a package.json make sure the package.json is outside the js folder it is, should be a sibling to your js folder again copied everything from documentation only thing that has been changed is this I have changed this uh, this should be changed and this should be changed okay next you have to create a pod spec file so again create it sibling to your package or json again the naming is important and i have copied it from documentation only this file name has been changed next i want to tell you for android so i am facing an issue for android called how to use register for activity result with turbo mode so in uh, in my in this google sign in example i am using on activity result but on activity result has been deprecated in android for quite a while now like i have figured out how to use register for activity result in the old architecture of react native like i have uh, we, there is already a issue on react native's github repo so but it has still not been solved it uh, solved for how to do it for turbo modules so i, I have raised this issue and i have still not yet received uh, received any answer like i have received this answer but it is not working for me and so tomorrow i will raise a bounty for it if you are watching this video and want to help me out uh, please uh, upload this question or in case if you know the answer please uh, post the answer as well like once this issue is resolved i would create more videos on react native's new architecture because the like i already have a lot of things planned but this issue is um, causing delay like i don't want to use deprecated features but just for this google sign in i i have used a deprecated feature of uh, on activity result but that deprecated feature still works on android hdk 33 that that is on android t so you don't have to worry about it next okay we have to create an and in android folder create build.gradle and this folder structure so i have in android folder 
I have created build.gradle again copied from documentation uh, and only thing I, that has been changed is this has been changed and I have also applied the Kotlin Android plugin and Kotlin standard lib as well as you also have to add this dependency of uh, Google or Android GMS play services auth because for Google sign in we require this next you have to go to the main Android folder go to build.gradle and add this Kotlin version as well as you have to add this class path as well next go to app build.gradle and here also you have to add this kotlin apply plugin kotlin android and you have to add this line okay once that is done go to your android folder of rtn my google sign in create src main java com rtn my google sign in and create this file my google sign in package.kt and here you can just copy paste it for now uh, but the only thing you have to change is you have to write here return null sorry return null and this should be also return null uh, because we have not uh, done code generation yet that's why make sure this is return null for now well, once that is done so we have already done this with done with this file as well next we have to do code generation again here there is double dot but we will use single dot because our folder is inside the react native project so you have to run something like this at the root of your react native project once you have uh, written that command you have to do cd dot dot and you have to run this command so here uh, again you can find it from documentation only thing that has been changed is here it should be a project name project name and here also it should be a project name because our rtn uh, google sign in is inside the project and not outside that's why in, in the third line they have not added the project name so this will create the generated folder next for ios okay so for ios again i have not written the code over here but i have written it inside uh, the main ios folder the reason is because we have to add the google sign in uh, dependency in the main pod file and there here there is no pod file i mean you can create it but i have not checked that uh, and like it might cause a lot of issues that's why i have uh, not written it over here and so what you have to do is that go to your main ios folder go to pod file and here you have to add this dependency pod google sign in uh, yeah and uh, after you add that you have to run this command run this command do not run just pod install uh, ju if you just run pod install it will follow the old architecture but we are on the new architecture so you have to cd to your ios and run this command so it will create a it will install this google sign in pod as well as it will create a pod of our rtn my google sign in as well next what you have to do is uh, you have to generate an api key so you can go over to the documentation over here and here you can click on create an oauth client id so it will give you a client id for the your ios project just follow the step it will ask you like just select ios from where you are calling the api and it will ask you for your bundle identifier which you have to add next what you have to do is uh, go to your info.plist file so go to info.plist and here make sure you add this whole thing first is your gid client id so you will get the client id from this uh, from this thing next just copy paste everything from over here but here what you have to do is uh, this thing it should be reverse of this thing okay so you can see it is uh, completely reverse of the uh, on of line 55 so make sure this is reverse of line 55 all right so once you have done that next what you have to do is go to app delegate dot mm file add this import as well as what else yeah you have to write this method as well this complete method so you have to write this method next you have to create rtn my google sign in dot h so i have just uh, you know copy pasted this from over here from the documentation itself so here you can see only the file name has been changed but we also have to import google sign in this file name has been changed 
this file name has been changed and this has been changed next create rtn my google sign in dot mm so once you create a objective c file from xcode it the extension would be only dot m but you have to make sure it is dot mm dot mm means objective c plus plus otherwise you will face a lot of issues so again i have copy pasted uh, everything from documentation only thing that has been changed is uh, so he this should be commented out like uh, we don't require this but we require this uh, yeah we require this our header file and we also require this react react utils so you can see we require the header file but we require we have additional import of react utils and it is why do we require react utils yeah we require it for this rct presented view controller but because the sign in with pre uh, methods are of google sign in requires a view controller to create that we require this okay so we have already created this method we just have to override it and this is the actual code uh, where you have to do where it does the actual google sign in for ios so here you can see i have the email address i have name i have given uh, given name family name there are more properties as well to user dot profile you can just open xcode and uh, do intellisense like uh, control uh, space or control tab whatever it is and it will show you all the properties which are present now for uh, now and this is also pro for profile image but for now i am just sending back the email address but you do whatever you want and this again copied from documentation all right what else i think that's set for ios next thing for android what you have to do is so for first you have to cd to your android folder and run this command so this will generate code gen next i will go to android i will go to app src main android manifest yeah just add this internet permission and what else i need to do I don't think we need to do anything else for Android in the main Android folder. So go to RTN my Google sign in Android SRC. In my we already have created this file. Now you can change this code to this instead of return null. And create my Google sign in module as well. So again I have copy pasted this from the documentation. Only thing that has been changed is the file name and also I am uh, implementing the activity event listener which I told you right like the on activity result which we require but this thing is deprecated that's why I have raised a question on stack overflow I also asked that same question on react working group as well so you can uh, up upvote uh, there as well if you want to uh, in case I like if I find the sooner the the sooner I find that answer to that question uh, the more videos I will make but yeah it is what it is and here we are just creating an rc sign in like if you want to know how this code exactly works of google sign in you can just refer the docs of getting uh, started with the google sign in another important thing of uh, google sign in which i want to may uh, to talk to you is that so you have to generate uh, the uh, api key for uh, the client id and client secret for android as well so you can just click on configure project uh, it will just ask you for your package name and uh, SHA-1. So regarding that SHA-1, like uh, I want to tell you one thing. So React Native SHA-1, I will just search for. So I have to get. So I will tell you how, how I got it. So I just ran this command. But once you run this command, um, you will see that it gives SHA-1 of various things like debug APK, release APK, debug test, release test and uh, the last SHA-1 which you get is of release test. Don't just copy paste that in, inside over here. You will face issue like I sp spend a lot of time and you will get something like developer error. So uh, copy paste uh, the uh, debug APK SHA-1. I think it would be the first one as soon as you run this command of CD Android uh, this thing. So please be careful. You have to copy for it for the debug APK. All of course, when you try to release it to the Play Store, you again have to generate an APK. Uh, sorry, not APK. Uh, you would have to generate the client secret or client uh, access key, something client access key or client API key again for release APK as well. Otherwise, if you 
जस्ट रेफर युअर डीबग एपीके युअर रिली गुगल साइन इन वोट वर्क फॉर युअर रिलीज एपीके सो बी केयरफुल अबाउट दैट शा वन वुड चेंज डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट वेरियंट ऑफ एपीके यू आर यूजिंग सो बी केयरफुल विथ दैट वाइल यूजिंग डीबग एपीके यूज द डीबग वन वाइल यूजिंग रिलीज एपीके यूज द रिलीज वन ऑल्सो यू कैन कन्फर्म युअर शा वन वंस यू अपलोड इट टू दी प्ले स्टोर लाइक इवन इन द प्ले स्टोर दैर इज अ शा वन बट यू कैन जनरेट इट लोकली दैट इज बेटर विच इज सिंपल एज वेल लाइक आई हैव शोन यू द कमांड नेक्स्ट यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी पेज दिस डॉक्यूमेंट कोड और इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एज वेल लाइक या सो हियर वी विल गेट ऑल दी अकाउंट डिटेल्स सो हियर यू कैन सी आई एम डिस्प्लेइंग द नेम अकाउंट ई मेल द अकाउंट प्रो वेरिएबल हैज लॉट ऑफ अदर प्रॉपर्टीज एज वेल लाइक यू कैन ओपन दिस इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो एंड जस्ट रन दी इंटेलिजेंस और रीड द डॉक्स बट हियर आई एम जस्ट पासिंग दी डिस्प्ले नेम एंड दी ई मेल ओके नेक्स्ट ऑल्सो डोंट फर्गेट अबाउट दिस लाइक अदरवाइज युअर ऑन एक्टिविटी रिजल्ट वोट वर्क लाइक दिस वॉज ऑल्सो कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज फॉर मी नेक्स्ट वॉट आई थिंक सो दैट सेट वी कैन जस्ट गो टू ऐप डॉट टी एस एक्स या जस्ट रन दिस कमांड वंस अगेन बिफोर यू रन योर ऐप एंड यू कैन इम्पोर्ट द लाइब्ररी समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड यूज इट लाइक दिस सो इन साइड द डेटा यू विल गेट द ई मेल एड्रेस आई थिंक सो दैट इट दैट्स इट द मेन प्रॉब्लम विथ एंड्रॉइड इज दैट बी केयरफुल विद द शा वन अदरवाइज यू विल गेट डेफिनेटली एन डेवलपर एर हाँ या एंड आई आई फॉगॉट टू टू टेल यू वेर एग्जैक्टली यू हैव टू यूज दैट ए पी या सो हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ पासिंग दिस यू शुड पास दी लाइक गूगल आई डी टोकन और गूगल एक्सेस की समथिंग यू विल गेट you have to pass it over here i think that's it uh, yeah that's it for today's video please uh, it is a request for to all of you please up, upload this question i will put a link in the description as well for this question please uh, once i get an answer to this i can i will create more videos because uh, this uh, thing is blocking me like i can't do image picker i can't do like whatever requires uh, you know like all the modern apis in android require this register for activity result like even photo picker image picker all kinds of picker and yeah all kinds of permissions as well so yeah request you to to please upload this question if you see my video thank you for watching bye